Welcome back to the channel guys, Farm Sim Snowy here, I'm right up in the air. There is a ton of mods out today, 23 to be precise, but there's a lot of packs. This is just the placeables out in front of us, and that is just some of the placeables. So, quite a lot to get through today. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Right, first one of the day is the MAN TGX 26.64 platform. This is by Farmer22. This you'll find under vehicles and trucks. It is a flatbed truck, so you can use it for putting bales or pallets on there. It does come with tension straps. It is 135,000 to buy, a base price that is. 640 horsepower. It's got a top speed of 49 miles per hour, and this is 11 slots if you are on console. We do have a few configurations, so there it is. Nicely detailed MAN truck. We've got design standard. Um, I think I need to go around the front on this. And grids, so it puts the grids across the front lights there, down the bottom. So standard grids. Then if you look above this door here, we have horns. So it puts the two horns there. And then you can have a mixture of both grids and horns. And then back to standard. Beacons, we have a few different designs of beacons. So standard is without, obviously. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, and back to standard. Main colour, as you can see, is going to change your cab and the sort of head there on the back of the flatbed. And then the rim colours, pretty self-explanatory. We're on chrome at the minute, we've got silvers, we've got loads of MAN colours in here some really really cool colors and then these ral colors shouldn't really have picked yellow should i but there's a ton of colors in there we can have a license plate as well which is just on the back there so quite a cool truck that that's the man tgx 26.640 platform by farmer 22 Next up is the Robert or Robert straw pack. This is by Universe Simu Modding. It's basically an animal pack. So you'll find all of these under tools and animals. First of all, we've got the P2200. This is 51,100 to buy. This is a straw blower. And it says in the description that this will hold nine large bales of straw. It does require 90 horsepower to run and that is seven slots on console. These are very nicely detailed mods, I must admit. You get up close to them, you see all the stickers, they don't go all blurry. As you can see, it does have a pipe there, so you unfold that and you can blow the straw into your animal pens. And you've got that huge capacity there. I haven't really tested anything today because there is a ton of mods out, but it looks like that door obviously opens for you to slide your bells in there. But we can change the, um, not the capacity, because it won't change that, but you've got extensions you can add. So at the minute we're without extensions, and then we can have with extensions, so that probably just give you a little bit more um, support less chance of your bells falling out like so so that is that one that's all we can change on there um, and then we've got this which is the hydro pal 2 gt evo evo sorry this is also a straw blower but this is supposed to be used with a telescopic handler so obviously i presume they mean the tele handler it's 14,900 to buy it's six slots on console and that is it. Now, if you have it in that configuration, I would say that is for your square bells. So at the minute we're on short extension. We can go long extension. So again, probably for bigger square bells. And then we've got with door. And I'm guessing that is probably going to be for round bells if you're using them. So you'll probably be able to unfold that front door there. And 
scoop up or push in your round bell and obviously there's another pipe on this so you can blow your straw into the pen like that and there's your telehandler handler attacher on the back but look at the detail on that when you zoom in all the stickers there I'm guessing it is Robert as well because you've got a website there and it ends in be dot be and I'm assuming that is Belgium and I believe in Belgium they speak French some of them could be wrong probably am and then moving on to this one this is a feed mixer so this is going to mix up your TMR uh, for your cows this is the Evo Lumux 2-30P 70 grand to buy it requires 90 horsepower it's got a 30,000 litre capacity though and it's eight slots if you're on console again very cool very nicely detailed it's a pin hitch attacher on there what is interesting and again I haven't tested this we've got two doors so you've got one there on this side at the back another one on that side more at the front we've got a pipe there and then we've got a rear door there as well so again like I said I haven't really tested everything so apologies for that um, there doesn't say anything obvious in the mod hub description so but that is a very cool mixer I like that um, we have got options so we're on standard and we can have watering which puts that sort of water tank container on the front there not quite sure what that's for whether it's just decorative and then we have tube which puts that tube around the sort of top of the rim and then we can have tube and watering and then back to standard distribution this is an interesting option it says without conveyor if we go with conveyor it only puts the conveyor belt on this side so whether you switch over to this side whether it puts the conveyor belt over this side when you do that i'm not sure because again i haven't tested it and it's so it's either with or without conveyor so it's quite interesting um, and then rear option is without and then you can have with chest so again i'm guessing you can unload from the rear of this as well oh and we also have with spreading so that is pretty cool that looks like there is a ton of options of how to distribute your tmr there how cool is that i feel really bad for not testing that now because that looks like there's a few things going on with this but that is that one and then we have another feed mixer this is again supposed to be used with a tele handler this is the BMV 33, 20 grand to buy. It's got a 3,300 litre capacity and it's three slots on console. There is no configurations on this. It is what it is. Again, nicely detailed and you can see the rotors in there to mix up your TMR. And there's your telehander attacher as well. We've got a few little numbers there. I don't know if you can see that, guys and obviously it looks like we can unload from left or right like so it's a pretty cool nice pack that that is the robert straw pack by universe simu modding and also by a universe simu modding is this which is the cargo xk18 this is a trailer obviously so you'll find this under tools and trailers it's 30,665 base price because we can adjust some things. Five slots on console and it will take pretty much everything by the look of the symbols down the bottom. So configurations, we can change up the capacity. A minute we're on 23,250. We've got 27,000, puts those boards on the side. 32,500 like so. And then back to 23,250. Very cool looking trailer though. Um, it's a pin hitch again. Looks like you possibly could adjust that draw bar. Lovely looking tyres. Looks like there's a grain door as well. Like so. 
Wheel brands, we've got Trelleborg, Micheling, Nokians, Mitus, and BKTs, back to Trelleborg. Trelleborg, got Standard or Wides, oh, sorry, Standard or Wides. Michelin's, we can't change, neither Nokians. Mitus, we can change from Standard or Wide. And BKT, we can't change, and then we're back to Trelleborg, and you can have a license plate on the rear as well. So there you go, that is that one, that's the Cargo XK18 from Universe Simu Modding. Next up is another pack, we've got a few packs today. This is that brand, the Cetera pack. So there's two cedars in here and a subsoiler. So the cedars you'll obviously find under tools and cedars, and the subsoiler you'll find under tools and subsoilers. This pack is by Matt26. So first of all, we've got the Cetera 3000. It's 26 and a half grand to buy, requires 120 horsepower. Has a tank capacity of 780 litres of seed. Five slots on console. It's three metres wide and it'll run at nine miles per hour. Just holds seeds, no fertiliser, and that is for putting in wheat, barley, oat, canola, soybeans, sorghum, oil seed radish and grass there is no options on any of these but i will show you them because they are nicely detailed again so different choice of cedars if you want to and then we've got the 4000 which is 38000 to buy that requires 150 horsepower that will hold 1080 liters of seed Five slots on console, and that is four meters wide, also nine miles per hour, and the same crops as well. And there it is. Again, very cool. Got ridge markers on these as well. Like so. And then we have the subsoiler, which is the DC301, 8,000 to buy. Requires 100 horsepower. It's two slots if you're on console. And it's three meters wide and it will run at seven miles per hour when you're using it very cool looking nice if you've got a smaller farm we do have obviously the four meter one base game but that's a three meter one so there you go that is the k brand satera pack by matt 26 Next up, another pack. This is the CSZ Implements pack. I got really excited when I saw this because I thought it was going to be the full CSZ pack from FS19, but it's not. There's only a few things in here. So I was less a little bit disappointed. And I'm missing my um, bag. What was it? A bag lifter or something. I used to use that to pick up the logs because I'm hopeless at picking up logs really with cranes and whatnot so i used to use the big bag lifter <laughs> and just hook up about four or five at a time anyway we have i haven't said who this is by did i this is by dd mod passion sorry we have the adapter which is 1300 to buy it is one slot on console and it says that this is for I have actually tested this because I just wanted to make sure myself. So you can hook this up to a three point hitch from this end where the sort of hoses are. And then this end will hook up to telehandler tools, which is pretty cool. So you can hook that up to a three point hitch and then use that with telehandler. And it's not a case because I thought, well, that's not going to be very good you know easy to use but you can sort of you know like a front loader you can move the bucket up and down to sort of like tip and things like that you can do that with this but it's still a little bit awkward because obviously you're restricted with the free point um on where it can move and go up sort of thing but it's you know pretty handy it will obviously I picked a bucket to use so probably not the best thing to use but you can obviously use other things with it there's no option sorry on that one so that is that one um, I'll tell you where you can find all these in a minute because they are in different places I'll go through them all first 
Um, next up, we've got Cage. That's 700 to buy. Now, it says two pieces there. I'll go through that in a second when we get in the actual store. It's two slots on console, and there is crop types down there. Some of that had me a little bit baffled. So if we go and store it, make a bit more sense. So there it is, the cage. So at the minute, we are on attacher type, a three point. So again, this will hook up to the front or rear of your tractor, providing you've got a three point on the front. And then we can change that to front loader. So you can hook it up to your front loader, telehandler, wheel loader, and then back to three point. Now this is where it gets a bit interesting. So capacity, we've got it on big bags. And then tanks, we can change that to tanks and then big bags. Right, now I'm going to come back out of that menu because down the bottom we do have a few interesting things. So basically if you have it on the big bag um, configuration, if you buy anything that is a big bag, so say pig food if you go up next to that big bag and start filling up it will put a big bag in that cage so it'll take it from the bag on the floor and put the big bag and start filling up until it disappears off the floor if that makes sense and obviously if you've got two it will take two it will only take two that is why it says two pieces now with the tank configuration if you've got something like um, a couple of IBCs of liquid fertilizer it does the same thing so it will take some from the tank on the floor and it will simulate a tank in that cage and again it will hold two tanks but what I was a bit confused about is you've got some crop types there where we can't actually buy in big bags or pallets tanks of so things like corn um, soybeans etc now maybe look being a little bit thick here but I, that's one thing I notice it does have silage additive and mineral feed I did test the silage additive that does fill up and it did put it into a tank I think yeah but I had some wheat in the farm silo at the farm on Elm Creek here I went up to that thinking, well, will it load up from that? Because it's got corn there and soybeans, sunflowers is another one, canola. So will it pour into there and then turn into a big bag? It didn't. It didn't come up with any refill or start, you know, filling when I went underneath the silo. So I was a little bit puzzled why those symbols are there for those crop types. So just something to point out I'm probably waffling on too much but if I'm being a bit thick then someone please correct me in the comments and another thing here which is a little bit baffling is we have two dozer blades exactly the same same slot count same width they look exactly the same now one is well let's go through the configurations they're both the same we've got attacher type three point telehandler wheel loader or three point again so there's no front loader option on this but you can't change anything else so that is that one and this one they look exactly the same to me but one is a leveler and one is a snow plow so how you're meant to tell really obviously you know what one you're you've got Obviously, if you buy it in the store, you know where to go for it. So that baffled me a bit. Um, then we've got Mixer, which is a 1,000 to buy, and it's two slots on console. This is just for decoration, it says, so it doesn't actually do anything. So if you've got like a, a cow or a pig set up, because obviously it's for um, slurry. It's a slurry mixer. You could obviously put that down on the farm to add a bit of decoration so again we've got attacher type three point telehandler wheel loader and back to three point so that is just for decoration it says that in the description as well only for decoration right the mixer 
the cage and the adapter you'll find other tools and miscellaneous one of these you will find under tools and winter equipment so that's obviously the snow plow so if you go into that menu in the shop and you buy it from there then that's going to be your plow i'm guessing they probably work both the same and the other one is the leveler so you'll find that under tools and levelers so there you go that is the CSZ Implements Pack by DD Mod Passion. Next up is this, and this is another one that had me a bit baffled. This is the, I don't know how to say it, Michielato AM19. This is by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sir. This is an animal trailer, transport trailer, so you'll find it on the tools and animal transport. Now we've already got one of these. I know the capacities are slightly different, but some of the mods, I don't know what's going on with some of them, because there's another one a bit later on I'll show you as well, which we've kind of already had. So I don't know whether people will get into trouble for pinching each other's mods or what, I don't know. I'm not going to get involved in that. But yeah, it's another strange one but it's 67 and a half grand to buy it's four slots on console this will hold either 30 cows 51 pigs 51 sheep or 14 horses it's a very versatile there it is again very cool it looks very very similar to the one we've already got you've got the fans on the side there as well we'll set up we've got standard or wide tires main color is going to change let's get on that the actual sort of main unit itself design color you can pretty much tell what that is going to do so we'll go on green like so and then the rim color again oh i've gone one too far it's pretty self-explanatory i'm going to do that and you can have a license plate as well on there if you want so there you go that's the uh, Michelato AM19 by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sir. And then we've got this, which is the Class Liner 500 Profi L. This is by Agra Design Austria. This is a wind rower, so you'll find it on the tools and wind rowers. 12,297 to buy. Some really weird amounts for the prices on some of these mods. 45 horsepower required is three slots it's 4.8 meters wide and it will run at 11 miles per hour the very cool looking thing though i like this it does look very cool when it's unfolded i haven't actually unfolded it myself but in the pictures on the mod hub it looks very cool when it's folded out so all we can change on here is the weight set balls so we've either got yes or no and that's going to change those ones right at the very front there that's all you can change a very cool looking mod especially if you've got a class setup going on so that's the class liner 500 profi l by agra design austria and then we've got the vaderstat carrier xl 825 this is by bandy 1016 this is a to, what was this a disc harrow so you'll find this under tools and disc harrow 75 grand to buy requires 340 horsepower six slots if you're on console it's 8.3 meters wide and it'll run at 10 miles per hour there is no options on this it is what it is but it looks very cool very nicely detailed i love the wheels on there so there you go nice looking disc harrow that so that's the vader stad carrier xl825 by bandy 1016 next up is the horse cruiser 12 xl this is by tarxi 007 this is a cultivator so you'll find it under tools and cultivators 89 grand to buy it requires 500 horsepower to run 12 slots if you're on console it's 12 meters wide and it will run at nine miles per hour got a couple of options on this we can change the wheel brand well and 
that is just going to do the rear wheels it won't do those wheels or tires there so we've got Trelleborg BKT and that is it Trelleborg we can't change and neither can we change BKT so <laughs> that is it I thought there was a couple more options than that so many mods today I can't remember which ones do what but that is the Horsch Cruiser 12 XL by Tarxi 007 and then we've got the Lizard no 12 this is by Ostry and Slycliff. this is a fertilizer spreader so you'll find out of tools and fertilizer spreader it's only 750 to buy with a varying capacity two slots on console it's got a 10 meter wide spread width it runs at six miles per hour and it is only for solid fertilizer oh sorry that's the wrong button there we go very cool looking thing I, I know it does look a bit plain but it's quite sort of older style looking fertilizer spreader it's even got a sort of um, plate there with all the details on it very cool so configuration we can change the capacity from 251 liters so it doesn't hold a lot to 330 and then back to 251 design we've got none then we can have cover WPM which puts that yellow cover down the bottom then we can have cover disc there and then you can have both like so and then back to none attaches we've got standard or we can have a trailer hitch on the back which is pretty cool and then back to standard and then main color we've got quite a few sort of older looking colors for you to choose from very cool I like that that's the lizard no 12 by Ostry and sly cliff and then we have this interesting one this is the lizard adapter 5r this is by B gamer 003 350 to buy it's two slots on console and there it is all we can change is the main color from anything on there you can match it up to your equipment what does it do I hear you ask well you are going to need a front loader for this so you you hook this up to your front loader like you would say like a bucket or pallet forks so this side hooks up to your front loader and then round here you can pick up anything that will attach to a three-point hitch it does have a PTO there as well I used this earlier to test again because it intrigued me I do test some of them if they are a bit sort of baffling or intriguing I hooked this up to my front loader I leased a front mower I hooked up to the mower with this side which I thought was very cool and it'd be ideal if you want to lift up the mower and put it onto like a flatbed trailer for transportation anything like that so that's pretty cool because you've got the ability to move with the front loader up and down and reach up higher places so that's pretty cool but what else it allowed me to do was unfold the mower turn on the mower and then I lowered it down using the front loader and I ended up doing a bit of grass cutting with it which I thought was very cool and random so yeah could be quite useful that if you want to move pieces of equipment around and put them on shelf in like you could put a front mower up on one of the shelf rackings we've got in um, the game at the minute there you go that's the lizard adapter 5r by b gamer 003 and then we've got the lizard kal 3m this is by sluches modding this is a spreader so you'll find this under tools and fertilizer spreaders 3500 to buy has a capacity of 1400 liters it's two slots on console it will run at eight miles per hour and this will hold solid fertilizer and lime so again very cool older looking bit of kit it's a pin hitch attacher so wheel set up we've got wide tires standard and back to wide main color is going to change that red to that and then your design color is going to 
change your covers there and then room color self-explanatory is going to change that to anything you want like so pretty cool uh, did it say no it doesn't it doesn't give you a spread width on that one so that is the lizard kal 3m by Sloot jez modding and then we have the lo jm2 round bell fork this is by farmari 99 450 to buy it will obviously hold one round bell it's two slots on console we do have a cool option though so at the minute we are on attacher type three point so that will hook up to your three point of your tractor but you can change that to front loader if you wish you can hook that up to your front loader and then away you go probably be a little bit easier picking up some of those round bells like that with the front loader so three point or front loader that is our options that is the LO JM2 round bell fork by Farmari99. And moving outside for the placeables, and there is a lot. <laughs> it's taken me quite a while. Hope I can squeeze all this in. So apologies if I do rush through this a bit um, quick. But there's a lot to go through and take in, and this is quite a big complex one this is the modular bga by castor ds agra services it's basically a build your own bga we had i don't know if it's exactly the same but we had something like this on fs19 so some of you guys will be very familiar with this um, it is a very very long description in the mod hub so if you are interested in this i recommend you go and check that out and try and get your heads around it because it is a little bit um yeah brain frying but it basically says on the description in the mod hub mod hub that you only need two modules really to function it one is the bunker which is filling of the biomass and the other is the fermenter which is the processing of the biomass so that is the bunker and that is the fermenter so basically you could get away with having a bga with just those two bits and the rest of the bits all added in i've only placed three down because there is quite a lot and i will show you them in the store and again i'm not gonna oh not in the store in the build mode you know what i mean i'm not gonna go too mad going into detail with it but i think that one was four slots that was three slots and that was three slots um you come up to them like you would production chain so there you go you can manage it so obviously that is the small bunker that i'm on now we can put in silage manure sugar beet cut and then the fermenter next to it that is going to ferment and produce silage slurry manure and sugar sugar beet cut no it isn't that is to put in isn't it that's to put in and that will produce the electric methane and digestate see what i mean takes a while to get your head around it but as you can see you've got incoming materials and then outgoing like most of the production chains and the same with this one here like so that's interesting why would you put sugar beet cut in to get sugar beet cut out? Right, okay. I'm not even going <laughs> to go off on one on it. And then you've got a generator, which is the next one I place down, where you can, yeah, do that. So I'm not going to get too carried away with it. Whilst I'm in this menu, though, it does put down extra places to sell your things. So say, like, there you go, sugar beet cut. We've got a bunker, small and fermenter, 100 uh, silage and again it's there like so so that is those so you'll find these under your build mode these will be under production and factories and it's all these ones say lizard energy so there's quite a few different sort of options you can go for so you've got a bunker small bunker middle and then they've got the bunker with bio grinder so if you choose these instead of 
having to put in cut sugar beet you can put in full sugar beet on the bio grinders and it will grind that up into cut sugar beet so to the right there just next to the manure symbol hopefully you can see that is the sugar beet symbol if we go back to one of the ordinary bunkers that disappears so that's pretty cool um, yeah and they all sort of look like this again I won't go too mad with them but that is your bunkers there's some more here there's a big one and then a big one with the bio grinder like so um, there's a fermenter there a different one to what I put down that's the one I put down another fermenter they're all different slots and prices as well it take me forever to go through all of them as you can see there's a lot of fermenters then we've got storage for um, slurry storage for digestate we've got a generator so that says at the bottom there if you can read it or not it says sells electricity and methane by a factor of two times and then we've got a generator 2 which does it at 1.5 times we've got a methane tank that sells it so there's quite a lot in there um, for this BGA there is also randomly in decoration and others this ramp which I think is to do with the BGA because it does say ramp to use with bunker for filling directly with trailer now I haven't got any other mods installed I'm guessing you'd put that up against maybe one of the bigger bunkers probably even that one as well would be pretty cool if you put your free mode on or off you can go up quite close to that so I think that is part of it um, I don't think there's anything else anywhere hidden I think it's all under factories so there is quite a few options there for you guys ah oh, there you go so that is the modular bga by castor ds agra service moving on we've got another pack like i said earlier there's lots of packs there's two farmhouses obviously i can only place one down but i will show you the other one there's two farmhouses in the pack that is one of them and there's a shed as well this is the old farm package by DMI 20mm Normandy and the houses are 9 each and I forgot what the shed was so apologies I'm not going to be able to tell you now because I've placed it down but there was so much to go through um, we do have a sleep trigger obviously here like so it's very cool nicely detailed don't think we can go in any of the other doors they look a bit small a bit of decoration around the back a little calf a pen there can't go in those doors and then we have the shed which we can go in there's no lights in here so it could get a little bit dark because we only have some small windows at the front and at the minute they are covered up with the doors so these and the other farmhouse you will find in your build mode first of all we'll do the shed because we're on there and it is oh, that one there it says garage so so it's saying one slot so apologies for not being able to tell you that's five grand to buy but there you go that is it there and then the farmhouses you'll find under buildings and farmhouses and it's the two on the end so that is the one i've placed down that's a hundred grand and then the one next to it is a hundred grand also and that's nine slots as well like so you can see the sleep trigger there it's got a little year that it was built by the look of it so very cool that is that pack that's the old farm package by dmi 20 millimeter normandy moving on where are we going next these these were in fs19 i quite like these they're pretty cool this is universal porch by no name um these two that i've placed down are two slots each but there's five in the pack um i know they look a bit weird now but they're m sort of more or less designed for being placed up against buildings should have a wall there and place it up there i'll show you in a second so again this will be under buildings and this is under sheds i think yes there we are it's these five at the end so like i say the first two i placed down we've got a seven meter one 13 meter 16 obviously bigger 
varying in prices 18 meter one and then we've got a sort of suspended one which you'd put out of a roof let's go over here so I know we don't own that but that's gonna play up isn't it why is that doing that you do it sort of something like that obviously you toggle your free mode on and off get it up to as close as you can get it like so oh I need to lie down so that's the universal porch roof by a no name and next up another pack and again, this involves farmhouses as well, so I couldn't place them down. I may delete that one behind me just so I can show you. But all three, there's three farmhouses. All three do come as decoration as well, which is what that, that one is there. So it looks exactly the same as that. The farmhouses do have sleep triggers and wardrobe functions as well. Um, this is, I forgot to tell you, French Farm Buildings Pack by Omatama. I do love Omatana's mods, I must admit. So, there's farmhouses, three of them, and then the decoration version of the farmhouses. There's five sheds, I think. That's just one of the sheds. There is a multi-fruit silo, like that, which is pretty cool. And then there's a multi-buy point, which again is pretty cool. Um, I'll go through everything a little bit better in a minute. The farmhouses, I think, and the decoration are all the same. So that one was 23 slots. So that farmhouse is 23 slots as well. That shed was three slots. The silo was two slots. And the buy anything was five slots. These are scattered around a little bit. So first of all, if we go into buildings, we'll go in sheds because we're already on that. And it's these guys. So there is four, not five. So there's this guy, it's quite huge. That's three slots for five grand. The one I put down is three grand. Then this fella, three slots, three grand as well. And then there's a shed light, I presume because you've got quite a bit of light through there that's a thousand to buy and three slots so that is the sheds farmhouses let's do them next and it is these guys so there's that one which is 21 slots so as you can see it's got two triggers on there sleep trigger and wardrobe then you've got this guy I can only see one trigger on these but it does say in the description that it's got sleep and wardrobe so whether you can go inside and i'm not sure and then this guy is the one i put down so that's 23 slots i like the decoration would have thought the decoration might be a little bit lower but obviously not i guess it's just the same building that really basically and that was the farmhouses uh what is next let's go to silos there's our multi-fruit silo, 5 million litre capacity, 30 grand to buy. It's pretty cool. Nice stone look. Hold pretty much everything. Um, the multi-buying station was in container. That is 10 grand to buy. And you can buy quite a few things from there. Not everything, so you can't buy stones and things, but you can buy all your standard crops, manure, um, things like that, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, slurry. I pulled up next to it with a tanker, hence the tire marks. It just filled straight up with slurry, even though that tanker can hold digeste, it didn't give me any options for that. So it, you can buy quite a few things from there. Um, what else are we on? We need to go to decoration and others, and we've got those three farmhouses again. Like I say, the slot counts are the same for the farmhouses and the decoration, like so. I think that is it. That is French Farm Buildings Pack by Omatana. Ooh, we're getting there, we're getting there. This is going to be a long video, I apologise for that, but I'm trying to give you the best review I can. 
Next up is this. This is Industrial Bakery by Dogface. Um, it is a production chain, obviously, and it is a bakery. It does say in the description that this will produce bread and cake five times more quickly than the standard bakery. It's a pretty cool, um, very nice looking building. So obviously you tip in there, your pallets will appear here. You can use the usual thing. So if you want bread, you're going to have to input flour. And then if you want cake, you've got to put in all those ingredients like so. So pretty cool. This one you'll find under build mode. This will be under productions and factories. And it is just there before the BGA stuff. 90 grand to buy. And this was, this is 23 slots. So a little bit up there. And there it is. So yeah, 23 slots for that. That is Industrial Bakery by Dogface. Moving on, we have this, which is Fence and Gate CME001 by Zimelak. I think I've probably said that wrong. It's basically a pack with a gate and then the fence that you can go around. I started to build a little sort of enclosure just to show you guys. Obviously the gate does open when you come up to it. Very cool. One slot for each of them. So one slot for the fence, one slot for the gate. This is going to be under your build mode again, obviously. And this will be decoration and fences. We need to go all the way to the end. So, <clears throat> so there's the gate. So you'll place that down like that. And then the fence, you will get the pole and we can snap on to that like so and I can finish off my little piece like that so I've made myself a little pen enclosure pretty cool fence and gate CME001 by Simelec moving on we've got these these are right up my street aren't they this is placeable snowmen by top ace triple eight they are two slots each very nice decorative oh obviously wrong time of year for them at the minute but if you are playing obviously realistically in game when you get to sort of december you can place these down whatever you want to do these you'll find under your build mode these are under decoration and others there they are, 50 to buy each, and obviously two slots each as well. You can spin them and rotate them round if you want. Very cool. That's placeable snowmen by Top Ace Triple Eight. What have we got next? This, this is what I was on about earlier with the animal transport trailer. We had this in a pack and I think that was by Omatana so I don't know what's going on with these mods and modders is someone going to get into trouble for stealing this or what I don't know but this is carport by Togrim so as you can see it's a carport place it down drive your vehicles under there like so this was three slots on console Again, build mode. This is under sheds, and there it is. There, two and a half grand to buy. We can spin it round like so. That is carport by Togrim. Next up, we've got this. I'll go round this way because the sun is that side. This is concrete divider by Dazed. So it's a concrete divider. It only comes like that as one, but you could probably join them up. I was hoping they were going to snap together like the old bunker silos, but they don't. But I'm going to try and line one up um, whilst you're here with me. It's one slot on console for each one. Um, it does say in the description that it has a collision to stop crops from flowing through them. So pretty cool. So you could put a row of these down and tip up 
you know whatever you want next to it these are under build mode under decoration and others I think there you go concrete divider so can we get one in there obviously you come up with that message if you get too close you can toggle your free mode on and off so we're gonna go something like that I don't know that looks like it's overlapping too much and like that that do yeah it's not too bad I've seen worse I've done worse there you go that is concrete divider by dazed and the last one of today is this which with the hat there like that it looks like a very odd grave doesn't it a bit morbid this is stone selling station by dogface again so it's a place where you can sell your stones um pretty cool place it wherever you want uh you obviously pull up there and tip your stones in this you'll find under build mode this will be under productions and selling points it's right at the end only 750 to buy it is one slot on console and that is the sort of footprint you get it does leave a concrete patch around the side but you can always landscape that paint it over so there you go just reading if there's anything special about it not really just somewhere to sell your stones that is it that is stone selling station by dogface and that is me done it is gone nine o'clock at night <laughs> so i'm tired hope you have all enjoyed the mod review and you did stick with me till the end i really appreciate it if you have there's a lot to get through today if you have enjoyed it though please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty